Well, look what's here. Small package, just in. ZWO automatic focuser for my William Optics Zenith Star 61. Let's unpack it. Let's see how it goes. Let's mount it. And let's go try it out. Shoot some stars. Welcome to Out Getting Stops. Okay, let's see what's in there. I got my knife, just as if I knew that a package would be coming today. So, let's get this thing open. Here we go. Always close your knife after using it. Okay. First of all, we got the little temperature sensor that I might not use, I guess, <laughs> but it's in there. Um, paper, let's get that away. Uh, there's an electronic remote for the focuser, which I probably won't use as well. And here it is. Oh, that's heavier than it looks. The ZWO EAF electronic automatic focuser. Small white package as we're used to it from ZWO. Let's open it. So we got your little quick guide as usual for the ZWO products with a little mounting installation um, thing in here so let's put that aside we got screws everything there we got the connection cable same as with the other ZWO products so it's the, the flat USB cable the mounting bracket for the focuser so this side will go under the, the, the focuser unit and I guess we're gonna mount this little box up here uh, but we'll see how that goes later then we got the focuser motor itself which is pretty heavy but that's uh, that's how it is with these small small motors we got the usual ZWO red finish which will fit the look of my camera and my guide camera and then oh yeah the usual ZWO triangle qualified certificate and I'm assuming these are the bolts yeah this is basically what connects the motor to the focuser later uh, and they're a bit elastic so you can move them a bit it's like a little spring in here um, which is uh, I think for one necessary uh, to not break anything to not break off the focuser or this part of the motor here um, and uh, it allows for little shifts in angle, so it doesn't need to be 100% straight mounted. It would be the, the optimal case, but uh, in most cases you won't be able to, so it can be mounted a slightly, slightly off and it won't uh, break and it will still stick on to the focuser. Uh, and there's different sizes in here for different focuser systems. I hope one of these fits the William Optics focuser. So that's basically it. That's what's in the box. Uh, I'd say let's get the telescope and try mounting this thing. 
So, here's the scope. Um, first of all, I'm going to unplug all the cables. I don't want to unmount the camera. Uh, just because I took a lot of time uh, adjusting the back focus and mounting it with the, the heating ring up here. So I'm just going to leave it on. I hope this works. Uh, put all the cables away for now. We don't need those. Down here. There we go. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let's have a look at the focuser. So, there's your focuser unit. Um, on this side, you got the coarse and the fine focus adjustments. And on this side, there's um, it goes the bolts go through basically, so you can adjust your focus here. And there's this little temperature sensor in here, which you can see uh, that I don't actually need, but I think that's um, why ZWO puts this temperature sensor uh, in their package just to replace this one. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to unscrew this one and uh, unscrew the ring that holds the scope because we need to get down here to uh, mount our our bracket for the focuser so let's see how far we can get all right i took the ring off um, so we're now able to get to those screws to later put our bracket on there. I hope this works. What we're going to do now is unscrew this little one, uh, this little screw, to get this cap off. So, on we go. Alright, this took me a little while to figure out. Um, so basically, just to rewind, if we turn the focuser, and this one is still in there, um, you will see there's one screw, one small screw, you unscrew first just to get a look into the hole. And then when you turn this knob, you will see two more holes appear. One, I guess, will be the connection to the cores um, focus and one, if you turn it over, there's the next hole appearing in here, will be uh, the connection to the fine focus. You uh, need to untighten both, then you can pull it out and you'll see these little, these two little screws in there uh, that hold this knob. So there we are. It is unscrewed. Next would be, let me save this one. Uh, next would be to attach the motor with one of these clutches uh, and after that get the bracket on and mount the motor to it. So let's find out which of these will fit the focuser. From the looks of it, I guess it's this one. It's the one with the biggest, biggest hole on the focuser side. So let's try it out. All right, we found the right one. It wasn't the biggest one. I mean, it's very seldom that you're right on the first try. So, what's the second biggest one? Uh, there I can show you the, the little band mechanism that is in there. I know you've, in Donald, you can see it. 
Um, so what we're going to do now is attach this side to the focuser with the bigger hole. Um, we're going to basically reverse engineer it, so we're going to put it in, uh, do just the same as we did with the with the knob that we unmounted. Put it in, um, tighten this one, turn it a bit, tighten this one, and then close the little hole with the, the screw we unscrewed in the beginning. So let's go. There it is, it's in there. I can show it a bit closer. Um, I decided I'm gonna leave this hole open because I guess we're gonna use it to mount the bracket. Same with this side. Uh, I might unscrew this one and use this for mounting the bracket um, because that's the only plain uh, layer we have here, so there's no other holes in the same height, so. Uh, might be best to mount it with these two. Let's see. First, um, I want to attach the motor itself, which will go on like this, I'm guessing. And then, I'm going to put the Bracket on like this. I hope that's how it should look like. Let's see in the in the instructions. So yes, there's this little image. This is how it should look like. So I guess that's the right way to go. Let's see how it goes. So first thing, I'm gonna tighten the screw. one I guess that's just the same as on the other side just want to basically cover cover the hole here I hope it's not holding anything if so I might be wait for it screwed all right looks okay Attach the motor like this. Yep. So we need two screws in here, one, two in here, and then we should be fine. Let's try it.
Okay, so after trying for over 10 minutes to get one of the screws that came with the focuser into these holes, um, I gave up for now. There's M4 and M5 screws in the package, but I'm assuming these are M3 holes. I uh, wonder how stuff like that happens. Uh, or if I'm the first guy ever buying this thing. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to hop over to the workshop, see if I can find some M3 screws uh, and see if they fit here and if I can use them to attach the focuser. Be right back. No! What are you waiting for? Do it! So, it wasn't really the end of the story. Um, I couldn't just leave it uh, and I investigated a bit further and um, used my backyard astronomer's headlamp to have a closer look uh, at these holes um, and I figured uh, I can show you this if you take a small screwdriver get into the hole and just pull it out just the sound of it tells you that there is no threat cut in here in this plate so they just completely forgot to cut threads in this metal plate and there is nothing you can see that from the angle when I put this one in there's nothing behind this plate so this plate is um, the element that holds the screws and when there's no thread cut in here there won't be a chance to get a, a screw in there so Wow, ZWO, I hope you didn't send out or produce too many of these because that thing is basically unusable. So I'm gonna send it back, gonna have a call with my dealer tomorrow and see what we can do about this. Crazy. All right, I'll keep you posted. Bye.